SML, SML, number 17. Dear Lord, help me. 131, I, I woke with a start. I spent last night. Switch around my apartment. Because I wasn't going to come home anymore to the same old set. I changed my set design. This is my apartment now. It looks real cute. Looks real cute. Looks real smart. Looks real comfortable. I woke with panic. But that's because when I went to sleep and when I did all this, I wondered if I would. See, this is number 17. And this one, this set, is where I'm writing myself into corporate. And yeah, it's my apartment, so basically I can be here by myself. But uh, I can also have company over. If I can work over here, just like coming home and uh, I call a kid's room. So here in my kitchen, now I got my writing desk and stuff and my refrigerator is in the kitchen again and this is my profit's room here i had switched it around to make it like an office and because everybody told me well you can't have anybody over if there are no ladies gonna come in here with your bedroom in your in your little here but that's a lie i got a company over like this and basically i don't have to live in my room but i can work in here and get my story going oh well continue writing my story and this one i'm not going backwards i'm going forwards to meet up with my future And I'm going to get myself connected and get myself up on live. <coughs> Build the page for a stuff exchange. Writing myself into a person that's writing themselves into a job. Set my own, order my own steps. Back in charge. God have mercy on me, but help me, Father. This is why I'm telling my children. This is why I teach. This is why I live. The future is the road to Emmaus where you run into it all. Bless, Father. Bless. In Jesus' name. Looks real nice. Have I got to put it back there? I got to put it back. Yeah. Either way, it's comfortable. It's my room. I'll try it like this. This way, I'm trying to teach myself. I don't always have to be at work. So I can also have time off. So I can also work from home, okay? If I have to or if I want to. This way I work on my past unit. Help my God. Help my country. Help my family. Help my people. Yes, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Let's not be so dramatic. In Jesus' precious name. Pray for me. I pray for you. I love you, Lord. And I know this is just the beginning of number 17. Just a story. That's all. It's okay. In Jesus' name. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yes, Father. Stepping up to meet you, as you inspired me to do. In Jesus' name. Amen. Yes, Lord, this wasn't the original design I had in mind. I'm going to switch it around now, the way you inspired me to. Uh, the bed's not going to be over here, the bed's going to be up there. So I can still have my view of my bungalow, my California bungalow, I can be laying here. And still have my bungalow where I can see out the windows. Yes, and it feels better too, spiritually speaking. I thought last night when I was laying down to go to sleep, I could be facing the east. That way I could be praying to Jesus all the time. But no, uh, I'm a Christian, so I'll put my head in the east, but I'll face the west so I can see my salvation. <laughs> in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father. We'll get through this. Yes, we're moving forward. Push it on, push it on. Donald Trump's got to win. Well... Lord willing, I think it will make it easier, but got to crack this nut here in Philadelphia. I do have to get people to sign the signatures for the freeholders, FMS PLCA, and hopefully someone can step forward with a legal injunction, seizing the 50 properties that they gave to those mini move projects planned on Horizon. For these people that just hang out on the parkway and they don't leave, they don't follow the law, and nobody upholds the law, so uh, then they give them property. Uh, no, you're all fired. And as far as that agreement, Kenson Abbey, the ward leader of Kenson, 1st District, I hereby seize those 50 properties in Jesus' name. 
for the glory of the Abbey and for Philadelphia. And don't you be giving my shit away no more. You ain't got no business being in there to begin with. Now you're leaving office and you're leaving for treason. That's high treason. All right? In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. You've been charged. You've been served. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint. Isaiah 40, 31. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, this is what I'm talking about. Waiting upon the Lord, but not sitting idle and waiting. No, no, no. Waiting upon the Lord means in good faith going forward. In good faith continuing to write. In good faith living the life. Living the dream. In good faith calling back my Savior. Calling that which is not as if it was. Calling into being. Yes, Father. Yesterday I started seeing that again with the everything turns into liquid and all the colors and my view of the horizon and my peripheral vision. It's like it, all the stuff, all the physical matter just turns into a water almost like a kaleidoscope and it's there in front and it's on the sides and is I think this might be the stepping through so I can formulate see I'm used to all the little bubbles I've seen the little bubbles before the ones I call dreams I haven't seen them in a long time but now I'm transitioning where I'm seeing everything run together like water and I can't get a focus maybe that's why the Kenson Abbey let people know we don't go no place to call them back or to set it up so that limbo is being snuffed out there's heaven there's hell and hell was snuffed out when christ that was finished so there's heaven and earth and now as i walk through and call into being and we make straight the way of the lord so that uh, the people are raised by the word naturally in due season and due time and a platform is created where he can return yes father so they know we can start building the kingdom now and as nehemiah and i could be uh, sent by the king with the king's blessing to rebuild the wall. Well, actually, it, this is the western gate, Philadelphia. And I don't mind, I, I said, I think it would be good with uh, the 51st state being a, a collective, the next step forward, a collective of Philadelphia, Puerto Rico, and D.C. The father, Philadelphia, liberty, freedom, the mother, Puerto Rico, coming from the islands, coming from the sea, coming from the ocean, mm, what is it called? A colony, yes. A colony being received, received by the king, received into the kingdom by the father. And this is me running out, seeing you apart, running out and meeting you, because you haven't made any transition like this. Everybody's in cancel, cancel society or cancel culture, and all they can do is think of themselves. And the only reality is that it, it's the Copernicus stuff where all life revolves around the person, around the individual. Yes and no. Your eternity, your world, yes, but God's kingdom, all under one. Omnipotence, the body. And yes, ACB, the seven sons, seven children, male and female, and two from Haiti. Remember when the Rough Riders came in? <laughs> they were bringing down the the captured, the people they captured up in Trenton. They were the Haitians, Christian Haitians. And they were hanging up in Washington Square. It's a beautiful thing. It's laying out under Donald Trump and the Supreme Court Justice appointment. It's not stacking the court to align it, to remedy it, to restore, to bless, to resurrect. That is not stacking the court. It's called resurrection. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Keep coming, Father. We're getting this done. And yeah, I'm serious about those properties in Philadelphia. This corrupt government, these corrupt, colluded people, these corrupt, colluded businesses, these uh, billionaires buying and selling, those California people thinking they're going to buy and sell Philadelphia like it's one of their uh, shit hills. No. <laughs> yeah, here's some toilet paper. Go home. <laughs> Write yourself a script. <laughs> In Jesus' precious name. God bless you. Amen. Just get out of here. <laughs> the 50 properties will seize them. Yes. Eminent domain from God the Father. Yeah, you got you to gotta argue with it? Take it up with the boss. <laughs> As for now, your babbles, your loss. Because now it's going to be tried. Now it's going to be brought forward. And now the snake is being driven out. Yeah, you're going to learn more about Nelson Mandela. You're going to learn more about this... Who's this reporter guy they're trying to get out of there? Mania? Yeah. Yeah, this is all part of the same crap. And now it's getting flush. It's called a royal flush, yeah. A royal flush. You want Africa? 
hit the bricks, take it to Africa. You're on the wrong continent. <laughs> Get out of here, kid. You bother me. <laughs> oh, my little chicken. <laughs> yeah. Duck soup. <laughs> and the cannibals are having <laughs> infidel stew. Uh, yes, father. Another panic attack. I turned off the lights and getting ready to head down to the yard. I am going to do a little bit of a segment on, you know, to talk about at least how I'm going to set up my tent so that other people can know it too. But anyhow, uh, well, it's common sense. It's, it's the ground itself, so that's pretty much all I spent. Uh, no, I turned off the lights and I was sitting in the kitchen here at the desk listening to the radio and I got a panic attack. We had to understand that which is read over us. That which is not God's word. Light therapy, uh, color therapy, all these different products that they put out before us, all these marketing campaigns that they inbred in us. All right, to keep us, like the baby elephant tied to the pole, when he gets older, he doesn't even have a rope on his leg, but he won't lead the pole. Train them up in the way they should go. When they get older, they won't. This is exactly what they've done. Not believing in God, though. They're just believing in, oh, they can make this over here and charge us over here and charge us over here and put together a Frankenstein. And then they sit back and they prop it. You know, they, they just turn the body against itself and that's basically dis-ease. All right, one grows another. But these things like light therapy, color therapy, they're good to know as far as what emotions they can create, like the, like the theme song or soundtrack of Jaws, what it can create in the human mind, what it can create in the human spirit, what it stirs in the soul. It's good to know there, but bring it under the authority of the word. God didn't say any of this. God said he would overcome the world. He had already overcome it. Sound, light, theory, everything. That's why I'm getting this watery eye stuff now, because now with Trump I'm going to get another four years. Thank you, Lord. Even if Joe Biden wins, Lord. Another four years of my family here. Righteous and unrighteous, Father, put all under Thee, all under Thy law, all under our Constitution, all under our covenant, all under God's favor and divine providence. The man You created, Father, my brothers and my sisters and myself, I represent them, Father, as they represent me. The one closest puts the hand up. The one worthy of sacrifice. Name of Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Yes, Father, that's Jesus. Thy word is worthy. I am just thy servant, thy humble servant, Father. I, yes, I, I am the one under the second king. The blue collar, Father. The heart and soul of our nation, the heart and soul of our people. No matter where we were, no matter where we've come from, no matter where we've been, you can see that we've been there as we've come through. And we made it here to America and we set up this place and we built it by the word as the word told us to do. And we followed. In Jesus' name. And we raised Philadelphia. And we raised Kensington Abbey. How do you think that's gonna play out? This is all before us. It's history. Former staffers like Katie Couric are in In Jesus' precious name. This is Amen. Yes, Father. As my mother taught me over the years, as I picked up from her. And her mother before her, I guess. Change around your environment. Switch around your house. I haven't left no one behind. I just changed my perspective. And I'm taking it back too. I'm taking back my peace. So now I have a home office, not just an office at my home. Or an office where I stay, or a place in between. Now I can start to understand having a house. Oh, maybe I get the thing tuned up with a website so I can get things start going on my uh, private business. See, a, a, an entrepreneur, Donald Trump, that's, that's up end of blue collar when they perfected their profession. 
and they understand it and they speak it and the spirits in their hands, the carpenter, the plumber, the electrician, the, the, the sheetrock layer, the painter. It's David being chiseled out by Michelangelo. It's the flesh being molded by the soul, by the spirit, by the gifts. Even if they just get organizational skills and work in a factory, or they just understand and comprehend how to put things together, how to assemble. And they have friends in the neighborhood. Hey, we had bars on every corner. We never made a lot. No, yeah, that's right. We had to live as family units. We went from blue collar workers, where we were just factory workers, and we rent rooms in the early 1900s. To starting families, what was left of World War One and World War Two, and all the confusion that crashed the stock market, and everything you put us through, everything you put us through, just to have a, a control of domination where we uh, succumb and uh, become dependent upon you. So no matter what you say, no, whatever day of the week it is, no, this is why there's a preamble in the Constitution. That grew out of Penn's Charter of Privilege, which grows out of God's Word, just like the Constitution. It's all the covenant. It's the Word made made flesh. It's the Word incarnate. It's man understanding and comprehending and working collectively, uh, omnipotently, all for God, all for family, all for neighbor and friend and stranger. God doesn't discriminate. God says whomsoever. God doesn't go by a color scale. Other than uh, dark and uh, being black, being uh, not taught, being kept in the dark, phrases developed from that. Well, how do you think people used to talk over the centuries about these African people that chased down their own kind and put them in pens and sold them off like animals? Where do you think the concept began? Outside the garden. All right, man had a choice. Give him free choice. He can go down with Adam and that shit. Or he can be raised up like Adam and Eve when, and give birth to Seth. Take, Cain's no different than Abel. No different than Abel. It's, it's what they accept. Both being taught exactly the same, what they accept, the emphasis they get to add themselves, that's their own opinion. That's what they believe because that's what they see, that's what they've been taught. But that's what they've preferred. Well, they want to, well, they're sloth, they don't want to do any of the work. They just want all the inheritance of the word. So, it's a, America's not free, freedom's not free. Freedom's not free. Each one of us keep our lives. He who gives his life for my sake shall find it. Do you understand our Constitution at all? Do you understand God's Word at all? Do you understand the counsel of Jesus at all? Do you understand the prophet at all? Do you understand yourself? Do you understand why you are as you are? Do you understand the uh, uh, aristocracy? The Greek theater, the amphitheater. Amphitheater, amplified. The pamphleteer. Do you understand anything about yourself? Do you know a man at all? Do you know a male and a female? Or a male from a female? <laughs> all right, that might be great too. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, no, no. My kids were complaining about that in fifth and sixth grade. Coming home from work, or coming home from school in tears about the cartoon or whatever they were showed in class. That was fifth grade, and I hear you got a lot of these places you're doing it in kindergarten. Where are these people raised? Still in your child's uh, childhood? Oh, 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 to throw them somewhere is up, up above you? The slingshot theory? Oh, the, the, what was that, Norwegian wood? Yeah, just give them the ending from the beginning. Don't tell them how, how they equate anything, just tell them what to think. Tell them what the decision is, tell them what the, oh, yeah, that's settled law. Settled law, that's word of God. That's settled law. Settled law is the word of the Creator. God is great. Settled law. That's God's word. Settled law. God bless America. He brought us here. He led us all. And we built the kingdom. Now it's time to make a stand. In Jesus' name. Yes. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Holy Spirit, Holy Ghost. Yeah, in India they have three. The, the, the biggest being the elephant. At least that's what I understand. In China there's many angels. 
That's sliders. And that's where you're subjected to uh, masters of the land. Man, evil landlords. Wicked tenants. What do you think the people mean when they just say these simple things? Oh, they can't speak plainly. Even for a gesture like this, they can be executed. Really? Here or there? Oh, it's coming here. It's just about done. Hmm. No, see, Humpty didn't fall by himself. He was pushed by a short order cook. Yes, Rush Limbaugh. It's called ordering the steps before me, ordering the steps for my son. Uh, going forward as a homesteader, from a nomad to a homesteader, uh, as I've decided my fate, I, as for me and my house, we shall serve the Lord. And we do. And uh, the past, this is uh, episode 17. The past is behind me. There's nothing back there now, that's just phantoms, memories from what uh, was put in my head versus the word. The word, I couldn't understand why nothing was coming to fruition until I look at uh, equated in man's uh, disobedience, obstinance, disrespect. Well, the word pointed it out. But uh, so did the Constitution, so is the Bill of Rights, so is the preamble, so is history, so is time, so is space. So does every uh, algorithm, algorithm, yeah, throughout all time and space. So, uh, therefore, I go forward in my faith with the eyes of John and the ears of Moses and looking around at what is being made manifest as I am working with the people in heaven as they're working to build the way back here. It's the Western Gate. It's the fruition of full consciousness subconscious, unconscious, and full conscious in every aspect. That's why they inject, injected philosophy to compartmentalize the spirit and the soul and be able to manage man like crops then build your brain in the left hemisphere and right hemisphere and give you two hearts. So that's why there's conflict. That's Adam and Eve and uh, uh, under the interpretation of Steve <laughs> I don't know. But along those lines. So that's what we're dealing with now. Uh, the past is behind me. Uh, ahead of me, it is the road to Emmaus. Ahead of me is my family, my future, my children. Uh, they're not back there no more. They're up ahead. And as I build the kingdom as made manifest, as like the watering in my eyes, it'll be made physical, it'll be made material. And before I know it, Christ will be returning with my loved ones. And they'll find me right where they expect to find me. And while here on earth now, I'm uh, turning in this direction to start building my family tree, or at least awaken it and reconnecting to it, so they know me too. So that's uh, the, the fluidness and the fruition of the word. That's uh, omnipotence. That's uh, spirit made flesh. Uh, word incarnate. And the society, the person, the being, uh, in Jesus' name. And this is our blessed assurance. This is our word from God. This is what's in everything we do. That's so we know us by our ways. No matter what the color, no matter what the region, no matter what the teaching, we'll still gravitate towards the word. So we're his flocks. And he's our God. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yes, Father, that's pretty much a skinny on that. Uh, I couldn't sell drugs. I couldn't bring myself to do that. And to take care of Smiley and myself, it became a burden that needed extra money and uh, needed cash on hand. The store was fine, was running a tab, but I still needed cash for daily supplies, cigarettes and, and whatnot, you know, smoke and deliverables. Uh, and special privilege of eating out, what have you. Uh, Smiley didn't really cook much. Uh, she says that had come after we are married. <laughs> uh, but anyhow, uh, yeah. So I took to collecting scrap and I brought him down the yard. Here at uh, PMARR, I had to use a contract number, they asked me for one. And I naturally just had registered the fictitious name of Kensington, Kensington Community Television. So I gave them that and I've run with that. And I started bringing in my scrap in here and 
give myself a daily wage as far as something to have in my pocket. You know, 15, 20 bucks sometimes. But anyhow, it was daily in and daily out. Just cash on hand, just enough to hopefully cover what I needed. And then that developed and uh, developed. I went through shoes and shoes and shoes as I walked from Judietta to Port Richmond and everywhere in between, Harrogate and Kensington and up uh, <laughs> being Allegheny. Yeah, I've been every place through the Badlands, uh, collecting the scrap and then turning it in here to get money from my pocket uh, instead of selling drugs. Yeah, that's the cart people. We had an option, we had an opportunity. And we took it. We molded it ourselves out of what we could do with our environment. What we could do, what they left us with blue collar jobs. They keep on saying the higher paying wage, the higher pay. They're talking bottom of the line uh, white collar. That's not who the blue collar is. Blue collar is meat and potatoes down here at the bottom. We're the ones that make the money. We pull it from the air and make it into something. And then our children, inspired by that security and that trust, are able to stand on our shoulders. And then above us they go. Not a problem. That's what we're here for. We're builders. So after I get my contractor number, then I started thinking, well, I'm going through a lot of shoes, a lot of shoes doing all this walking. And me and my condition, it would start out as therapy, it had become a burden. So I made an arrangement to start working in the yard as what's known as a picker. Someone who gets a third of what whatever precious metals they're able to uh, glean out of the trash. That which doesn't come in with a regular uh, clientele, uh, you know, cashing it in. They just throw it out with the light metal or the heavy metal and we go through and clean it out. And we get paid for that. And just like I ran with my clients on the street, I would come to their house if they wanted and I'd pick up their scrap. And I could return them with a receipt of which I'd get 10%. 8% would go to my community and 2% to me. That's biblically correct. Down here at the scrapyard, I offered the same thing. Bring them in here as a group and build pickers. And uh, I offered that three years ago. Build the pickers here. At the end of the day, we cash out and be divided equally among all the pickers in the yard. Least to the greatest. And 10% off the top would go to the community. That would be a public-private relationship. Somewhat similar to the parking garage they have set up for the casinos down here in Port Richmond. You know, below 95. Uh, but these are things that are inspired by the word. These are the things that come from John's eyes, through Moses' ears and hearing heaven, and hearing the voices, hearing the heralding, and coming near. And this is what makes us physical, on which we can depend. That's why we can ask for expectation, knowing it's already been given. In Jesus' name, yes. Divine intervention, divine providence. We followed the word and came here. It wasn't working in Europe. We needed this place. And this is where we came and we gathered. Every last one of us. In Jesus' name, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit as we came. Shh! And this is a secret. With the workers, it's 50-50. Nobody steals, nobody steals. I share with them my opportunity, my tips as a picker. Shh, shh, shh. But it, it means I'm getting lazy, so pray for me. Because the workers, they're hungry too. And we're all coming together as a family. And everybody prospers. Everybody. Cash. Tax free. Uh, FMS PLCA. Kensington Abbey, Philadelphia. Get this to the Commonwealth Foundation out in Harrisburg. Oh no, R2. I think they've seen us. Ah! What's that? 3PO, stop pulling my leg. Enough. Enough already. May the force be with you. She Rush. is assuming that Rush. the Rush. Rush. results. Rush. I'm sorry, friend. I'm going to have limited time to do this. I'm here at the location for the Kensington Stuff Exchange. I just wanted to show you this. So, uh, setting on my footsteps. Order my steps. Take a look at poppy fields. Poppy fields. See, now I got a cage for my aluminum, I got a cage for my stainless. All right, so now I can work towards the pickers once I get the volume up. I'm doing more than 10 or $20 a day, but I got to get the volume up. Got to get people delivered in here, all right? Now I can put up a tent right here. I can put up a tent right over top of my area. This is my mash tent, this is where I'll be. All right. Oh. Oh. 
Oh. There you go. What do you think? What do you think? I have a mash tent here, and I have a tent over there, and I have a barbecue grill in here, and I get the, the briquettes, the easy burning briquettes. So when I put the flaps down, I have a barbecue grill cooking breakfast and lunch for all the college kids and all the pickers and the guests to come by. We can have a cup of coffee or something like that. I can do my stripping in here. Legal stripping, just uh, separating material, and the pickers can bring the stuff over for the daily, daily bread. And across the street, right over here, that will be the that will be the bungalows for all the university people to build them right across the street over there. All right, and then that's where we get all the college girls in their Hollywood bungalows. Hey, we rockin' little ladies in the city of lies, but another lost thing called. City of Lies, City of Lies, City of Lies. Whoa, gotta go, quick, gotta go. What's that, Otis? Did I enjoy my lunch? Did I enjoy my lunch? Hmm. I sent you out to get me one cup of coffee and two beef pantaleos. Is that not right, Otis? Two beef pantaleos and one cup of coffee. That was all that I asked. I even gave you the money to buy it. Uh, and you come back with two chicken pantaleos and a cup of coffee. So did I enjoy my lunch? Hmm. Miss Tessmacher! Yes, Clara. Oh, yes, my dear. Can you go over to Trump Department of Justice and tell them my lord wants to know where's the beef. William Bragg, KCTV News, Kensington Abbey, Philadelphia. William Jefferson Clinton, Hillary Rodham, you two are up next. Come on, I need you to give your presentation for the class. Now, you've turned in your report on how you would lead a uh, means to an end to a, a global resolve for world peace. And you believe you form what's called the Clinton Foundation. Now, as I read through your report, you would have an open marriage. And uh, either one would go either way with whoever they wished, male or female. And that didn't get in the way of a professional relationship. Because you're a dynamic hub. Uh, but see, it's, that's not Adam and Eve equal. That Eve rebelling against Adam, that's, that's Jezebel uh, using Ahab and Ahab's power. The divine providence is a paternal order. So the man's gonna be first as God is first. And uh, Hillary, if you're gonna be doing all these things and think that it's gonna float for Benghazi and and Secretary of State and doing all this internet stuff behind the scenes, it ain't gonna pan out. All right, you, you both are gonna end up getting prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. Matter of fact, you're probably gonna be sent to the to the JAG unit and you'll be brought up on a military tribunal. And if you are found guilty there, then you'll both be hung by the neck till dead. Or you'll have a choice, you can get uh, shot at a firing squad or uh, I guess a guillotine these days, and I think they're bringing out uh, the electric chair again. But you'll have your option. But for now, sit hard to you. Just understand, that's not the way to read your legal textbooks. Uh, and you don't want to get caught in that mess, so you two can go sit down. No harm, no foul, it's just a class exercise. Uh, Joe Biden? Joe Biden. There you are, Joe. Come on up here. No, leave your lunchbox at your chair. Come on up here, Joe. Now, your resolve for a means to an end, or by any means necessary, is, well, that's basically, you took the, the Cain, the, the Satan approach. Uh, God made all for me, so therefore all will be my slave. And you sold out everybody and everything. And like a corrupt mafia king, you turned around and dealt it out to your family, and that was all nice, living vicariously, living like the aristocracy. And all of us are down here suffering, and you're taking all the money, and you're doing as you damn well please. And you're lying, you're scheming, you're scamming, you're flaming. 
and that's about all there is to the, the Biden legacy as far as your report goes. So no, Mr. Biden, you and your whole house would end up getting prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. So I wouldn't go that way either. Uh, I've been trying to teach you kids for a while. Go sit down, Joe. Go sit down. That in the real li live world in America, there's a reason why Moses didn't cross over. Joshua did. Moses didn't. Because Moses had to stay here. See, these people are un under the impression, the aristocracy and the elites and the pharaohs, that basically once they use the slave forces to do all the manual labor, then they don't need slave forces no more. And they do away with blue collar. They take the straw away from them and they will make bricks. They take the opportunity away from them and be able to have lives. And then they just tax them and gouge them and sneak them and snake them. And fleece them like sheep until they are dead. So, uh, just so you know, that's why Moses didn't cross over. He's a blue collar worker. And without the meat and potatoes and the people making the money, uh, your white collar service and well, I'm going to manage this, and I'm going to manage that, and I'm going to manage... None of that even exists. That comes from the, the, the brickmaker's uh, children who stand on his shoulders with that peace of mind, knowing their security is met with food and with uh, provisions and finances and a comfortable home and a roof over their head and the things they need to learn and to live. And that's why Moses never crossed over. Uh, the, the mud dancer still dances. We're the blue collar workers, we're the builders. You can't get rid of us, at least to the greatest. Uh, any king that doesn't lead from the least, there's no king at all. Have you read your Bible? Yes, Father. I see it now. The double-edged sword. But the way they have it laid out, it's like uh, two edges is one sword and... Uh, <laughs> Two separate galaxies, okay? For us, the blue collar here at the bottom, yeah, when they think that we've done something, we're immediately picked up and brought into a court and indicted, we're charged. And then we're detained for a trial. They're detained without, without bail uh, until we have our trial. Then it's all said there, and thank God for the public attorney, because, oh, yes, Your Honor, if that works for you. Yes, Your Honor, if that works for you. Yes, Your Honor, if that works for you. Without them standing up for my rights, I don't know what chance I would have. But I do understand that we here at the bottom, we get prosecuted this way. This is Philly State U. But up at the top with D.C. and the aristocracy board of uh, Siddhartha U. Yeah, they get to trial by public opinion. So you notice they don't get picked up. They don't get indicted. They don't get charged. No, they float the questions out there in front of society. What do you think it is? What do you think it is? Well, this is a hypothetical, and this is a scenario, and, this is, and the aristocracy sent home. There's no charges ever filed. There's no crime ever committed. No, 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 no. This is all just a, uh, a lesson in uh, hypothetical situations. I know they got rich. I know they got spoiled. I know they took the spoils of the treasury. I know they lined their own pockets. But according to what the judge says, uh, they're free men. That's all there is to it. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. If you get 302'd, I've been that route too. Now, 302, they're going to take a picture of you when you, they pick you up and you're all disheveled. And they're not going to give you a comb or nothing like that. They're going, oh, no, 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 you look perfect, you look perfect, you look perfect. See, now there starts the, the puppetry of your Pinocchio, because they passed that law too. When you're 302, when you're picked up for psychological rings, you don't have to have broken no, no, no laws. You just breathe, that's all. And they take you and they put you away indefinitely. You're not entitled to a trial. You're not entitled to a lawyer. You're not entitled to a day in court. You're not entitled to any of that. You're not even entitled to a release date. You're not even entitled to know what you're charged with. That's called 302. And the police, is, the police officers are already instructed. Part of policy is they don't even make a report on it. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that a beautiful thing? I mean, if they made a report on that and they matched things up, then obviously... Oh, obviously the Siddhartha U would start to crack at the seams. 
and in an instant it would just explode from within because it would just be based and predicated upon lies and everybody would see that and now would come the pitchforks and the torches and yeah the time for trial has gone by and then it would be dancing in the streets well in divine providence in heaven uh, the battle is hell but no there's no mercy to to those who've shown no mercy there's no grace to those who plotted out this uh, thinking in their heart that there was no God and he he ha ha no that's they've sealed their own fate oh they had a chance they still do perhaps I mean uh, I don't see Jesus yet so I mean if they uh, confess and repent and turn from their wicked ways they can come along with the wagon train. There's not a problem with that. But uh, the Trump train, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> freedom train, yes. Yes, thank you, brothers and sisters. The freedom train. Yes, not the Underground Railroad no more. No, no. This is the L. <laughs> this is the train that travels across the top of the sky. The elevated train. Yes. Fully conscious and knows where it's going. And, uh, well, they ain't going to have to worry about no more subways no more. And not as far as going underground to, to keep your church and to keep your ability to be independent. If they take away all your blue-collar work, which they've tried to do, and tried to promise you all these uh, imaginary jobs, a higher pay for blue-collar jobs, higher pay, higher pay, higher pay, it doesn't fit the didactic. It does not fit the formula. It does not fit any of the criteria necessary to make it tangible or even feasible. So, uh, they want to do in the blue collar, uh, they basically cut their own throats. Because once they're done with it and it's gone, it's survival to the fittest all the way up to extinction. That's all you got going. But us in heaven, because, you know, it's already given. <laughs> it's not a problem. So we're going to get through this limbo now because I'm going to show you. And I'm not going to be listening to the radio as far as the cases concerned with the vote. On November 3rd, I'm voting in person uh, here in Kennington, 19134, in the Kenson Abbey. And I'm going to vote in person. And that's about the size of it. It's in God's hands. Always has been. Always will be. That's what divine providence is about. But now you're going to understand what it meant by being disciples, your only job is to therefore go therefore and recreate, teach, make disciples, and raise the whole earth. And yeah, you didn't do it, you didn't do it, you had your shits and giggles, and you made all your money, and you told all your lies, and you stole all your fortunes, and you stole all the birthrights, and you stole all the blessings, and you, you, you acted just like a little Satan. Black and yellow and red and blue and brown and green and purple too. So now all your little royal shits are going to get flushed. But there's a chance, you know, God is merciful. Christ paid the ultimate price. So yeah, Trump comes in with the Trump card. And he enforces the law and he upholds the Constitution. And oh, all the lawlessness goes away and all the creative prosecution and creative defense all those liars are brought up on charges and indicted and no more no more the third day CE current year this is past AD this is past the judgment this is the new calendar the new day and this is the, the only resolve there is, Immaculate Conception. Raised by the Word. Raised by the Lord, abiding in Him and Him abiding in us. Raised by the Word. Raised by God. Raised by our Heavenly Father. And to walk as on earth as we do in heaven. So yeah, I'm here to clear up the vision problems. Uh, 2020, you know, it's, it's so easy a child can understand, so <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't mean to be offensive, but uh, no, all the shit that you've been put in our heads for 100, 150, 200 years, 
uh, trying to do what you've been doing. Yeah, Franklin worked it out. He, he sold us out with the Church of England and the Spain. But you know what happened in, in 1765, actually probably 1760, when Franklin started working out this crap with the Stamp Act and to sell us our future that God's already given us. And we're here in America. He's going to sell it to us now. He's going to sell it to us now. And this is what they're going to give us. He's going to sell it to us now. All right, but in from Lancaster in 1765, rode the Rough Riders. All right, those were the Christians coming in to kick some friggin' ass. Because you son of a bitches, British colonial crapheads, MS. Take it North Philadelphia. Now you're going to get weeded out. But Franklin wasn't there. He took off. He was over there frolicking away in, in France or in Spain with the women and the men. Jefferson was over there too. Everybody was having a grand old time. It was a global society. It is a global society. It's always been a global society. What, you're going to say because they're in the outside of the world, you have no idea they exist, they're not going to be there? No, this is 2020. Now we have perfect vision and the lame excuse is now removed. Uh, yeah, with the, my vision turning watery, uh, the reality of limbo is being diminished. The, the world before you is going away now. It's going away. This is going to be the America that the America was founded to be. The way it was, the way it's always been. But without the, uh, without the inconvenience of convenient truths and inconvenient truths. There's truth and there's lie. That's all there is to it. And now we're going to go through. Because God's walking us through it. In the name of the Father and Son and the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Show me the way. I want to catch up to reality, to today. I want to get these things going. I want to have my therapy in place, Lord. My life as thy good and faithful servant. I want to be able to set up Kenson Abbey. I want to be able to set up all the things I have designed to set up. To work the mill, to work the vineyard. To teach the children. To let them live. To live my own life. And to have my own family. And not pre it wait until I get to heaven. No, uh, beginning right here, I carry my wife's voice. I carry my daughter's voice. I carry my son's voice. I carry the voice of my God. I carry the voice of my Savior, Jesus Christ. And I'm speaking to the whole world. And the husband and the five brides, it's all in me. The husbandman and the five brides, it's all right here in me. One person. For if by one all fell, then by one all saved.